The murder of Michael Donald changed history. He was killed by members of the Ku Klux Klan and hanged in the last lynching in the United States. Today, students at Viger High School learned more about him. The powerful words written and read by Jamie Bradford brought images of Michael Donald's death to life. Bradford is one of 26 African-American writers who participated in the anthology The Color of Strength, Embracing the Passion of Our Culture. She wanted to give back to her alma mater and community by sharing her personal story about how she was affected by Michael Donald's death. In the story, or the essay, um, KKK, The Real Boogeyman, I talk about how that particular event changed my childhood and how it impacted me in regards to race relations. I think it's very important for the students to remember our past because in that way it, it helps us to redeem ourselves and to make sure that this horrific event never happens again. Bradford plans to write a book about the lynching. Donald's tragedy was an important part of Mobile's history, so Bradford continues to talk and write about the city's painful past to make sure Michael Donald's death is never forgotten. The Port City has come a long way from that terrible tragedy, and it's important to never forget the significance of that day. Fox 10 News reporter John Rogers attended a candlelight vigil held tonight in his memory. In the middle of a neighborhood sits an empty plot of land with one metal sign, a small monument to a significant event. It was March 1981. 19-year-old Michael Donald had just left his mother's apartment when he was kidnapped by members of the Ku Klux Klan. Donald was beaten, his throat was slashed, and his body was found hanging on a tree. His killers were convicted, and a lawsuit later put the United Klansmen of America out of business. But tonight was a chance to reflect. Right. Because the day he died, he was free. And for Joseph Spencer, tonight was a chance to relive it. We hung out together. We dated our fiancés together. Spencer was one of the last people to see Donald alive. He said, let's go watch the basketball game. So I said, well, I'm going to go home at the time. I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch the game. That was the last time he saw him. I used to always feel like if I would have went on with him to the ball game to watch the game, that uh, he'd still be alive today. Michael Donald's death diminished the influence of the Ku Klux Klan in this area. Even though that horrible day is now just a plaque on the street, it doesn't mean it should be forgotten. As one organizer tonight put it, this could always happen again because racism is not dead. In Mobile, John Rogers, Fox 10 News.